everybody. Um, this is part two of a live video that we're doing right here from the Amazon rainforest. So thanks very much for joining us. We had the signal get a little bit lost at the last time, but we actually want to answer some questions now um, because we saw some comments left down below. And so if you're just tuning in with us now, my name is Aaron Pomerantz and I'm a National Geographic grantee. Thanks very much for tuning in. I'm with my good friend, Dr. Jeff Galise. And we are out here in the Peruvian Amazon, high above the canopy right here in this canopy tower. So really, really high up. I apologize in advance if you're afraid of heights. Um, but check it out with us. It's sunset right now in the Peruvian Amazon. We want to answer a couple questions really quick. And so let's answer some about research, and then we want to answer some about conservation and potentially volunteer work in the Amazon. Um, so I can talk a little bit about the work that I've done out here. Um, I am currently a PhD student at UC Berkeley. Um, I'm really enjoying it. Um, I recently started. And uh, I've been doing work out here in the Amazon for the past couple of years. And so I'm an entomologist, which means that I study insects. Um, it's been really, really cool. Um, I also have worked with National Geographic to try and get stories out there so that people like you can enjoy them. And so some of those have involved uh, new spiders that we found out here, new butterflies, new life histories, new relationships, and in some cases, new species. You know, we're in one of the most biologically diverse places on the planet, and I'm sure that's why, you know, you can't get enough of this place, yeah, right? I love this place. You always find something new every day. Every a, day. A thousand new things every day. Yeah, this is, this is such a cool place to be. So thanks for tuning in with us. I mean, you, you can understand why, right? Look behind us right now, and it's just, you know, green as far as you can see. Right? It's amazing. This rainforest is incredible out here in the Amazon. And it's, it harbors so much biological diversity. You know, all the monkey species and birds. And, you know, we study insects. So that's one of the most diverse group of animals on the planet, right? Totally. totally. Yeah. And so that's part of the work that I've been doing out here. I love it. Um, I've been working a lot with uh, the Rainforest Expeditions. That's an ecotourism outlet. But I've been, you know, their scientist and their science communicator for the last couple of years now. Um, so they're a little bit more south in Tambopata. Um, the Tambopata Research Center is a place where I've done a lot of work. And how about here, Jeff? Where are we right now? Uh, we're in the Los Amigos Conservation Concession, um, which is right next to the Los Amigos Biological Station. And right now, we're on a tower that was built to monitor jaguars, radio collared jaguars. Um, nowadays, it's used as a, just an observational tower um, where we can get this amazing view of the rainforest. Yeah, check it out really quick, just in case you're tuning in and want to see more of the jungle. It's amazing. We can see some macaws and parrots at sunset now. It's been raining all day, so it's nice to kind of get this break right now. Um, here's our down view. And you can see the tower right there that we just climbed up. Usually I've only gone up about, you know, like 80, 100 feet or so, but this yeah. is way above the canopy. This is about as high as it gets. It's actually really cool, too. So there's a lot of birds that live up in the canopy that fly up here. Um, the big scarlet macaws, the giant red, blue parrots. Actually, we have a bird's eye view on those birds from up here. Yeah, the birds are flying below us. That's how that's how high up it's we are really, right now. really, really cool. So this is a cool spot. Yeah. Um, and uh, just briefly, I want to mention um, that we're also teaching a field course right now. This is through an organization called Field Projects International. Do any of our students, I'm going to flip it. Hi. Guys. Hi. How's it going? Hi. So these are some of our students. Um, what have you guys been doing out here? One of the best things that we did is that we climbed a 50-meter tall study some insects and check the diversity and abundance of some species of things. That was the coolest thing. Awesome. We've been also looking at different populations of hearing butterflies to try and find out if there are close communities that we need to study or whether they will fit in the future. Yeah, definitely a pretty awesome experience. We got to see hundreds of species that I thought I could ever see in my life. This truly is a dream come true. Cool. Yeah. It's been a lot of fun. I mean, uh, Jeff and I have been co-teaching uh, an entomology course out here in Peru. It's been rad. It's a dream come true, just like Brandon said, for everybody involved. Yeah, um, I think, you know, maybe one of the misconceptions is that this is a really dangerous, far-off place in the Amazon. You know, people usually first ask us, like, what's the deadliest thing you see? Or are there de snakes and spiders and stuff? But, you know, what do you say to, to something like that? The plane ride is the most dangerous part. You know? uh, it's, it's actually a surprisingly benign place. Um, there's, there are potentially millions of species of plants and animals here, uh, most of which are completely benign to humans. Um, the plants and animals that live here, more than anything else, are just completely beautiful and amazing. Not dangerous and scary. Yeah. So I think that's what has, you know, kept drawing people like Jeff and I in here and, and other students to come try and understand this place. Because, uh, the, you know, as being a biologically diverse place, there's still a lot left to be discovered and to understand. And that's what motivates us to, you know, describe new species or new life histories or understand this place and how it ties into ecology. 
and how it impacts all of our lives. Yeah, right? and, and what's really cool is, you know, there, there, there might be millions of species here, and it feels like it's going to take us millions of years to understand it all. Um, so, so if you're curious about nature, this is just the right place. It's yeah. really, really amazing. Yeah, people also usually ask, I see in some comments, that, you know, what about conservation issues um, out here in the Amazon rainforest? So, you know, even as scientists, even as biologists, we're uh, tied into these issues, and we see them all the time. So, um, I mean, Jeff, you are, you've moved to Peru since your PhD, right? And you're, you're involved with conservation. What can you say about that? Um, so, there's a lot of, I mean, this place is beautiful. It's yeah. green as far as the eye can see in every direction, um, but there are threats. Um, so, we can actually see small gold mining fields all around us right now. Um, those are growing. Um, so, the deforestation of gold mining is, is an increasing problem. Um, and so actually, I, after graduating with my PhD about a year and a half ago, I started, I recently just started an NGO, a nonprofit organization. Um, and we're going to be working with local communities. Um, we're going to be trying to help uh, local farmers improve the efficiency of their agriculture, um, get them to be more sustainable, basically. Um, the organization actually is called Sustainable uh, Alliance for a Sustainable Amazon. Uh, you can visit the website at sustainableamazon.org. And we actually have some pretty exciting volunteer opportunities um, coming up for this summer, summer 2017. Um, we have internship opportunities, volunteer opportunities. Um, and so we're trying to provide a way um, that everybody can come down here and contribute to conservation of biodiversity and up this beautiful place um, that we've fallen in love with. Yeah, and, you know, we need more people like you who are interested in this environment to, you know, help understand it, protect it, come visit the rainforest, whether that's through an ecotourism lodge that's sustainable or an NGO, come take a course or just come visit. You know, this is an amazing place. As scientists, we love researching it. Um, but, you know, it takes all of us to, you know, keep making these issues important because, you know, the Amazon rainforest is one of the most important places on the planet, if not the most important. The lungs of the earth, um, climate yeah. change, biodiversity, this is a really, really important place and we can't lose it. I um, mean, the only way that's going to happen is if we work really hard. Um, we need more people to come down and see it and work and work with us to, to make that happen. So. Yeah. So thanks very much. The, the sun is starting to set. Um, we're going to try and answer more questions as time goes on. Um, if you want to keep following me and my work, you can um, find me on Instagram. It's at NextGenScientist. So as a Nat Geo grantee, I'm also interested in taking new technology out here into the field, like origami microscopes, like portable gene sequencers. Uh, I think it's a really cool time to be alive and, and to be incorporating new technology to make new advancements in this field. Um, we need to expedite field work, I believe, and, and th these are tools that we can use to do it. Um, Jeff, where can people find you? Uh, sustainableamazon.org. That's my website. You can visit us at sustainableamazon.org. We have volunteer opportunities, uh, internship opportunities. You can get involved. You can come down here and you can be part of this uh, amazing place. Cool. Thanks so much for tuning in with us, guys. Um, we're going to close it out. I'll give you one last view of the sunset in a pano and uh, hope to talk with you soon. Ciao. One last view of the sunset.